Hi. Oh, you're probably wondering, why in the hell do I keep on attacking Islam? Nothing's ever going to come about from it. Everyone's going to be on prayer rug someday with their patooties in the air. After all, Oblimer said, the future must not belong to those who slandered the prophet of Islam. And so, and you have Saudi oil silencing the media and things. And, you know, YouTube doesn't put on videos that uh, expose Islam very much. Oh, it'll have, uh, you know, Muslim videos, videos that show, you know, attractive Muslim guys and gals and making Islam look like, yeah, it's just like everyone, every other, you know, religion and you're racist if you uh, attack it. So you're probably thinking, man, that guy is really wasting his time attacking Islam day in and day out. But you know, this, this, is, this is how I see Islam. I see Islam as like this big, looming tree in my backyard that everyone is forced to worship or pay jizzy tax uh, if they don't worship it or be killed if they don't pay jizzy tax. And um, every day I just come out there with an axe and just take one swing at it, one blow at the tree, boom. And does it leave a mark? No. Now sometimes it might leave a mark, but you know it's gonna heal up. And I must admit, it looks pretty bleak. Looks like I'm wasting my time, big time. But I have this hope that someday Someone might go, hmm, you know, that looks kind of fun. Scary, but fun. Because if I get caught, you know, swinging an axe, I might get killed. You know, get my head sawed off to uh, all of his snack bar, or, uh, you know, all this greater. So, but, you know, someone might go, that looks like fun. And they take their axe and they, every day, just take one whack at it and boom, you know. And others might join in too. And they get brave, you know, and start whacking at it. Might join me. And then... Over the days, there might be a mark on that tree. And then a bigger mark, say a few weeks down that road or something like that. And until finally, it's uh, you know losing some bark and it's not growing back as fast. And then, probably not in my lifetime, but um, maybe in my uh, imaginary grandchildren's lifetime, the bark will be gone and the thing will be tilting. And then tipping, and then the whole thing will crash down, and then there'll be no more threat to women being raped, uh, guys being murdered, uh, gays thrown off buildings because Muhammad saying killed those who engaged in the actions of people a lot. No more uh, girls being, no more little girls being uh, sexed up and deflowered and re abandoned thanks to Quran 65 verse 4. You know. No more honor killings due to Quran 1874 through 81, uh, where a traveling companion of Moses kills a innocent boy just by fearing that the boy will grow up to disappoint parents or show ungratefulness toward Allah, which again opens the door to honor killing. You know, no more of that sort of stuff. You know, no more Quran, no more uh, Islam, no, no more slavery, and having sex with someone's wife due to Quran, the first part of Quran 424. You know, in other words, oh, also, no more Muslims going out and joining ISIS and killing and being killed in the cause of Allah, thanks to Quran 9, 111, 38, and 39. I know, I know, it's a dream. It's just a hobby that's probably a waste of my time. But, hey, if someone doesn't take a whack at that big scary tree... <laughs> Who's going to, you know? So, every day, I'm going to continue to just take one blow at that tree. And maybe someday I'll leave a mark on it. And others can leave their mark on it. And, like, big marks on it. And then, 
We'll see. Bye.